so everything else is just building on top of that foundation. Um, and yeah, I do I do that a, a, an awful lot. I'm uh, I'm I'm very much trying to turn that into an art form uh, <laughs> because it's it, it's fun. I yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy uh, I enjoy kind of giving that, and I enjoy uh, learning those things about people and. You know, learning enough to know exactly which key points are the important ones. Welcome, Metaverse DJ. I'm Lion, and Raptor is not here with us today. He's currently on a job, fixing a sewer. But with that said, we are joined by a wonderfully esteemed guest. Hey, y'all. Oh. I am Glitch the Fox. I uh, work with a lot of different events teams, and I do networking and marketing and um, stuff. <laughs> oh, so anything I'm uh, anything I'm told to do. Ah, so what got you into the platform to begin with, and how did you get started with doing networking and promotions in VR chat? Oh God! Uh, so the platform itself, I had known about for quite some time. Uh, God, I'd known about VR chat for years, and I really wanted in. Um. So the, pretty much the second I got VR and I got a quest, I was like, "Oh, I got a quest too." I was like, "This is this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna go on VR chat, and I'm gonna be a gremlin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and I, I I had this I had this whole uh, whole kind of plan for you know just just going and sitting and uh, and watching people i like i like watching people i like being a wallflower i like working from the background that kind of thing um and then uh yeah i i got on you know for what, six months on a quest maybe a bit more mm. uh discovered that the vrc lens was a thing and uh uh yeah that that was that was the end of that for me i had to uh Upgrade, <laughs> um, and it all kind of spiraled from there. Uh, I went through a whole lot of different things that I that I ended up doing. I've been uh, lead photographer at multiple places, uh, spending time just kind of working with people. When the way that I like to work, I like to be right there with the community. I like to kind of uh, a talk to everyone i like to get to know every well i just just like yourself i like to get to know everyone's stories um and yeah i just kind of uh spiraled from there and now i do too much and don't get any free time <laughs> i love it don't get me wrong it is i i live and breathe it it's uh it's my absolute everything and i couldn't imagine my life any other way Hmm. <laughs> well, you said a little while ago that you enjoy being a wallflower, but what you're doing is the exact opposite of being a wallflower, to be honest with you. <laughs> what what led you to being like going from hanging out in the background where no one sees you to right there in the face of everyone there getting to know everyone? What what drove you oh, to like God. change personality? Uh Corbell. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, no, that is it is exactly. I like I I do like being right in the middle of like the crowds, but I like I like observing. Uh which I mean I still do. I I I do observe. I you know, I have to. That's part of uh part of the job. Uh so I spend a lot of my time just kind of watching the people around me, getting to know uh, what people are liking at any given time, getting to know which performers and which styles people are really kind of jumping for, uh, getting to know what isn't seen very often, but people have kind of uh, mentioned uh, and things like that. But realistically speaking, that like I probably still wouldn't have done any of this if uh, if Corbell hadn't like straight up taken me under his wing while I was working for him. Uh, I, he had a personal photographer a long time ago uh they uh were no longer able to do it just life came up so as the lead photographer for cmfs at the time i was uh, uh i started following him i started going around with him just photographing his daily uh routines with the various different groups uh and yeah through that uh it got to kind of talking to a lot of people corbell's very good at performers uh he didn't used to be as good with uh with DJs and actually 
uh, relating to them. Uh, I live for the club scene. I've always loved uh, clubbing and just being in the club scene. Uh, not much of a dancer, but, <laughs> you know, I, li I like being in the atmosphere. Uh, so it, it became very easy for me to kind of open these conversations. And I also like by different people uh, as a photographer, I could go up and I say I can go and say, oh, hey, it's great to meet you. I'm uh, I'm Corbell's lead photographer. I don't know if you've met him. He's C from CMFS. Uh, he does these music events. Uh, is there any chance we could get a picture of you two together? We're kind of on a day out at this event where we're just kind of, we're chatting to the people here, just getting to know everyone. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. And, you know, nine out of 10 times, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and from, from that, you know, I'd, I'd take the photos and then he can go into, yeah, it's, it's really cool to meet you. By the way, if you'd ever be interested in anything, uh, you should come on down and, uh, or you should, or you should chat to us. But you, sometimes it didn't even go as, as far as that. It was just, uh, it's getting that name there. It's getting, uh, getting it so that we can post the picture, tag the person, and uh, from that the person go, yeah, it was really cool to meet you. By the way, have you got anything happening anytime soon? I'd love to be involved. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you know, I got into this whole kind of habit of joining him in talking to people. Uh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to say this multiple times, but yeah, it just sp spiraled from there <laughs> um, <laughs> without much uh, without much choice in the matter and rather uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you're working with Corbell and you do like networking and promotions, I do have a question for you as well. What have been some tricks in promoting VR VR specific events? Is there like better to do it in VR face to face? Use Twitter and stuff. What are some Good ways that you've found working with Corbell and doing all of this in VR chat. Uh, it, it's very much a mix of uh, in VR and Twitter. Sometimes Reddit. Sometimes it's mu as much of just uh, oh, it's name dropping. Ah, uh, oh, like like you know. Every now and then, I, I have been guilty of this. But, you know, on Facebook, it's my real name. No one knows it's me. Uh, so technically, it's not advertising if I go to a VR chat-based Facebook group. But uh, is anyone going down to uh, to Enchanted by the Goldie Lounge on the weekend? Um, I hear they've got some really cool people playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, um, yeah, I have been guilty of that. But it's... A big thing about it and a big thing of the way this platform works because uh, you know a lot of people see this as a game and i don't this is this is a way of life for myself and a lot of people um but we'll we'll go out to uh uh we'll go out to places and we'll be talking about things or we'll go out onto twitter uh, and it's very much a case of getting other people talking. This is, it, it's a social platform. It's a social network. Mm. It's a, uh, it, it, it is a place where we can create uh, organic marketing mm. without, uh, without really having to do a million different things that IRL companies would need to do to get that going um because you know we can we can have things on our avatars uh you often see people with uh with posters on their avatars i've often had a poster frame with uh with posters for events on my avatar if i make an avatar for a specific event during the run-up to that event that usually has a poster frame on it uh it's just really quite funny but also it's probably going to get me in trouble one day uh Someone got a whole bunch of people in the fairy hideout to turn into the uh, the Omni avatar that I did for Ace's birthday. Ace is the uh, is the owner and uh, 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 president, project manager, whatever for Omni. Um, and uh, that had the poster on it, and the hideout ended up full. Like loads of people turned into them. We're just putting the posters everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, I am I am pushing my luck sometimes with uh, with the organic marketing because it is so easy. Um, but someone will get annoyed and go, "Okay, damn it, glitch made that avatar." <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but it, it is it is about getting those people talking. Like like a uh, with with Corbell, it's it's very easy. Uh, a lot of people know his name now. A lot of people know the events. Uh, he's the entertainment manager for the Furry Hideout. He does his own events through CMFS. Uh, you know, a uh, his name is kind of enough to market. It's like, oh yeah, Corbell's got another event coming up. Oh damn, he works with Whispers. I'm going. Um, with some of the others, it can get a little more difficult. Um, one of my, uh, one of my kind of. Uh, big projects at the moment is a group called Fur Rave. They are absolutely fantastic, very community based. Um, a lot of the staff are quite big names themselves in the uh, in the industry. Uh, they've all kind of come together to do uh, to do their own thing and have an event, more or less for themselves. Um, but their numbers that do come to the event have dwindled, which as much as they want to do the event for themselves, when you have the dwindling numbers, DJs kind of go, well, you haven't, you haven't got as many people as you did before. Uh, I'm probably not going to uh, jump on when you open DJ applications. Uh, you know, that's, that's just what happens with any place. Uh, Fair Rafe, I absolutely adore, and and you know, I'm I jumped at the opportunity to work with them. I've worked with them before. I was uh, guest photographer at the Halloween event last year. Actually, uh, we were in a Minecraft world. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> it was not optimized, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, we were we, we so we we're running around doing a lot for them. We're basing a lot of the ideas off. Uh, well, community. Uh, it is their community. It is your community. It is our community. Uh, we're putting on a show for our community, which is you. Kind of uh, attitude onto it. Um, then you've got uh, you've got Area Fifty Five. Um, is another one uh, I work very closely with. Starpot, absolutely adore. Starpot is a genius among geniuses. Um, Area 55 gets a lot of big names. Uh, Waterwolf run their show. Uh, they do an ab- absolutely immaculate job, as they always do. Um, and, you know, we get all these big names that know Star uh, personally, but we don't get... Uh, yeah, the we we don't get the mass public. Uh, the last event, Sound Machine, uh, Sound Machine Two, it was the first time they've really done a sequel. Um, that was uh, that was also the first time stars hit the attend the, the attendee limit, the the instance limit, uh, and ended up with a queue, which yeah, you know, absolutely immensely proud of him and did not doubt that that was going to be the one that did that like for a second. Um. But it's it's like you know we want that every time we want that every time for every club to be honest that's that's the you know that's the goal for any any group any event anything like that it's it's get people interested so that you can show off what your community has worked on and they can go uh, hey look this is uh, this is what we're doing now come and come and come and see us. Uh, Come and have a party. Come and come and do something you'll you'll remember. And when it comes to uh, when it comes to a place like that, more people should be aware of it. More people should get in. Mm. Uh, so that one's uh, requiring the more kind of uh, uh, the dirty side of uh, of like organic marketing, where it's. Uh, Hey, use hashtag area fifty five hashtag sound machine when you push up. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's that kind of push, and we've used that often at events. And you know, it always works. It is a brilliant way to do it. Um, but it's you know, it's it's this kind of brute force after the event rather than before the event, uh, and it makes people go, "That looks so much fun. Why did I miss that? I have to get to the next one." Um. You know, that's we did that with uh, uh, the last Goldie Lounge event. We had hashtag Echosphere. 
uh, and yeah, it made a made an absolute difference. Uh, this time round, loads of people uh, had seen that. Uh, we filled that the uh, enchanted instance up instantly. Uh, it's something that really, really works, but it takes that push because you've got to get those people talking. Uh, and VRChat is the perfect place for it. Like, it's it just happens. Like, it's it, it's marvelous. <laughs> it makes my job a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> so going spreading word of mouth in VR chat works a little better than after the fact of an event. How how does uh so I have a question because I didn't know there was promoters in VR chat prior to like meeting you and Corbell. <laughs> so how do what is the general VR chat's public response to having like someone like promote an event like 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 a uh role play community uh recruiter but for events and stuff? Is it usually well well accepted? Do people kind of refrain because i'm kind of curious like a whole that aspect of things as well so unlike the the old role play community uh recruiters who would specifically come in full costume into just a public instance uh yeah i say i say costume full you know built up i would like a stormtrooper coming running in and doing the whole act um and you know coming up to just random people and join the empire and all all that um you know, we we don't do that mm. uh we're not we're not do we're not going up to just random people by the way we've got this uh unless it's an event with a specific community mm. uh uh, during the Fairy Hideout countdown, uh, quite a few of the uh, the team that was working on that did rounds around a few of the Fairy Hideout instances. We had the uh, big screen up showing the stream in the hideout, and we'd go in and we're like, yeah, this event is actually going on right now. It is a Fairy Hideout official event for New Year. Uh, if you want to run through that portal, you can get there. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, but outside of that, we don't do the... Uh, the recruitment promotion of what these are because it, it it's not the same situation. It's not the kind of thing that would really work. Um, so it's like it's set times. So the fairy hideout open mic. Uh, you know we had a whole lot of events going on uh, this past month. So uh, before the last CMFS event, uh, which was the one they did for Bardic RJ, hmm. uh, I got up on the stage at the open mic, uh, with Corbell's permission, of course. Uh, actually, I had Corbell on the stage with me. I got Corbell and Goldie up on the stage because uh, I, I got up and I talked about the uh, Goldie Lounge event and Corbell's event uh, that were coming up and uh, Echo uh, 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 Area 55, and I wish I'd known that HFF was this weekend. Uh, I was not sent any of the uh, posters or anything for that, and... Uh, I, I wish I had been because I wish I could have mentioned that as well. Um, but you know, that's it's a it's an already happening event that's specifically there to bring the community together, uh, so that they get to know the people involved and come to events. Uh, so it's the perfect time to do it. Uh, same with Goldie's open mic. We get uh, we get posters up on the screen behind uh, behind people during the run up to it and during kind of intermission times. Uh, uh, and when we've got an event on that's being run by Goldie's team. Uh, we go up on stage, we show off the Proto Goldie, which is the staff avatar hmm. uh, that uh, I, I made for them because apparently I'm the only one that can make staff avatars and that shit. <laughs> 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 um, I, yeah, I know. I love the Proto Goldie. I'm so proud of that one, and it's going to get so much else put into that. Um, you know, we'll get up, we'll show off. I'll, I'll be there doing a dance. We'll get someone in full body doing a dance in it, and uh, go you'll talk about the event uh you know we'll we'll just kind of we'll, we it's just getting it into people's heads so that that it's there and they know this is happening and they'll talk to their friends it's 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 how i got uh involved in corbell's events actually Do you know i haven't told this story for quite some time um this is this is a prime example of uh your organic marketing as opposed to uh, recruitment, mm. uh, like within the the way we can market on VR chat and market the events that we're doing here. Um, I discovered Corbell's stuff uh, through another friend, Iris. Uh, he wanted to go to it. 
uh he told me all about it, it was like you want to you want to do some photos if you go here you'll get the chance to come and chill with us have some drinks take some pictures and get a chance to be in uh, an, an environment that was a little closer to uh, Frality Silver, which was my uh, last quest standalone event, uh, and where I met Iris. Um, and uh, something that wasn't a club. I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. Let's do it. Um, so, you know, I, uh, I jumped in. Uh, I like to camera test a world beforehand to make sure that uh, everything's going to work because I use the VRC lens, so I've got settings, uh, some of which are easier to set by default in Unity. Um, so yeah, I, I head on into camera test. I get talking to Corbell. I get talking to a few people. Uh, I met a few of the uh, a few of the DJs and a few of the performers. Um, and yeah, they. It was all very cool. I had no idea what was what was going to come from that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I went down. I told all my friends about it. I was like, there's this event. If you guys are interested, none of them turned up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but then you know, Iris uh, works for the Navy. Uh, so he ne- he's never quite sure when he's going to get called in, when he's going to be uh, needed for anything. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, the the like the night before, uh, he messaged me. I am really sorry. I'm not going to be able to be there. Mm. Um, I was like, ah, oh, damn. Okay, oh, I'm probably not going to bother going then. Um, God, I wish I'd stuck with that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I uh, I ended up with nothing to do that next day, and I was like, right. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and have a nosy. I'm gonna see what's uh what's going and what's happening. Um so I went on down and you know this was a brand new team. They were learning the ropes, you know, before that the only kind of major events team uh as an actual, you know, full team uh in the furry side of things was really Waterwolf um, and Ferality. Uh, yeah, but the only ones doing trying to do regular events were Waterwolf. Um, you know, Corbell was kind of starting this whole ass thing uh, and you know, trying to build from next to nothing. Mm. Uh, and yeah, he had a team of people who not all of them really knew what they were doing. They all came from various different walks of life, very diff- various different places on VR chat. Um, but the big lacking for me that I noticed was uh, photographers. Um, he had no like full on dedicated uh, photography team in there. Uh, so little me going, uh, oh, I've got no friends here. Um, I've got nothing to do. Um, runs over to uh, to Corbin and says, hey, "I'm glitch. We met we, we met last night. Uh, would I be okay taking some photos uh, of your attendees uh, for your Discord? I'll let them know it's for your Discord. Uh, I'm kind of letting you know because people might think I'm staff doing so, but I, you know, I'll uh, I'll point out that I'm just." just taking photos to go there to post on the discord and he's like yeah yeah you can do that yeah 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 you do that please yes absolutely um uh, first big mistake on both our parts because now we can't get rid of each other <laughs> um, <laughs> um and yeah apparently i did a good job um handing over about two thousand photos holy crap <laughs> um your poor soul yeah. stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, my laptop is not happy with me. Um, <laughs> that's 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 nothing. Uh, that's nothing compared to some uh, Jingle Bells Jam and the Fairy Hideout together. Like like uh, December last year, uh, thirty five thousand photos throughout the month. Holy crap! Um, <laughs> yeah and half of those are still in the archive waiting to actually be run through um a lot of them were behind the scenes because i was doing uh, i was doing a lot of the performer shots uh during those two events i was i'd started focusing on the more back end 
uh, you know, operations, uh, assisting the hosts and things like that. Um, by that point, and working a lot more closely with the with the uh, the management team more than the uh, more than managing the uh, photography team. Although I was still uh, I was still doing the photography team as because that was my passion. Um, and then uh, yeah, I uh, uh, I had so I did I just did a whole ass lot, and yeah, apparently I did well. Uh, because uh, at the next event, I was like, uh, "I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be involved. I'm you know I'm nothing to do with the group. I'm not staff or anything." Uh, and I straight up had Corbell sit there and start crying at me um, because I'd apparently done so much for them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, outside of the team that designed the stage and the lighting system and Corbell himself. And obviously the world creator. Um, I was the only non the lighting system and Cobell himself stage and world person um that had, had input on the world. I gave I gave Lotus the world creator a uh, a list of kind of things that would make it easier on the photography and videography teams. Uh, uh, and all but one of those things was implemented, and that one that wasn't implemented didn't matter because we ended up finding assets uh, that were avatar-based that would do that. Um, so every single thing that I listed off was uh, uh, was brought in in some form or another. Hmm. Um, and yeah, that was that was it. I was uh, I I joined the team, and uh, uh, yeah, my life changed <laughs> i i uh i found i found new meaning i found a new passion i found mm. what i want to do for forever i want the, i, I want to do this and work with the events teams and work with uh work with both the clubs and the festivals and and creators and and performers and all of that uh i, I want to do this for the rest of my life i want to turn this into you know a paying job because i do this full time more than full time and uh you know, we don't get paid for the for these things. We have to uh, we have to you know get paid from just you know normal life, having a normal job, having uh, having other income. Uh, one thing I'm hoping to do is make uh, uh, make assets for uh, for events, uh, just like little fun things like uh, you know, redos of like an arm PC that has the screw up on it that i thought i'll probably end up uh putting putting out for sale and uh little things to go with the events and like just random you know cute shit um but it's getting that done it's i don't have the uh time or the know-how yet so yeah <laughs> um oh yeah it's uh it's this whole roundabout on that side of things that uh uh, it's it's the overall goal. We do we do all this, and uh, yeah, we want to we want to turn this into our livelihood. We want to do this forever, hmm. um, and make it work because the the the, uh, the the reception that it gets from people, and you know, it's not just changing our lives as the staff. It's not just changing the performers' lives. Uh, we're putting people in a situation that they couldn't possibly be in. Uh, IRL, we're putting them in places that are magical. Mm. And yeah, people people come to us and people tell us, "Yeah, you've you've absolutely changed my life, and you've made." Uh, you've made something of of my life. And yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Hmm. So I <laughs> I've got a few questions now. Um, first of which is, what led you into doing promotions and marketing from taking photos with Corbell, and how do you manage your time? I've <laughs> talked to lots a, a lot of people that surround you, and oh god, <laughs> I've been told you just don't stop. You said you're on a vacation. <laughs> how do you manage a job? All of these events oh, I've no. seen you at, and that. 
<laughs> oh no okay um <laughs> so i got into the marketing side because I've, I've always been interested in marketing that's that's uh that one's not even a uh it's not even a second thought to me i love talking about things that are going on i love talking about uh things that are happening i've uh i've helped uh people with marketing in a lot of different industries uh, uh, just, just, just off the bat, just for the fun of it, um, you know, and, um, yeah, uh, it, yeah. <laughs> um, in regards to time management, uh, I don't. <laughs> Fair. Um, but when you do this, it's it's very difficult to time manage. Uh, I'm in a position where some would consider it lucky others not so lucky um so i'm not in work uh out of vr i'm signed out for various mental health reasons uh, vr has helped me a hell of a lot with that um i i have gone through uh, very severe depression over the uh over the past 28 years <laughs> i've got <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gone through, you know, ever since my teenage years. So you know, we're talking ten years, more than ten years, fifteen years. Um, God, I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I've not, I've not done well. Uh, I've struggled with uh, Asperger's, uh, social anxiety, uh, and, and depression, and things like that. Um, and quite a few years ago, I, yeah, I, I hit that peak. It was, it, it took one little thing and, uh, yeah, I tried, I tried the worst and, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been signed out of work ever since I've been on, uh, on the, on the benefit system. Uh, they haven't been helpful in the slightest. I'm not bad enough warrant the extra help um so i'm on i'm on minimal anything so the more i do in here and uh, you know the less i try and do out of here uh i can't afford to go places i can't afford to go out i can't afford to uh to go on nights out in town or to go to irl events um so this gives me that uh chance to do these things as i say it's not just the attendees they get to do things that they would never get to do as i said how i started you you couldn't walk up to you know, glastonbury and go hi i'm a photographer can i take photos for you they're gonna look you up and down go get the fuck lost um you know <laughs> the, it's it's not something that happens outside of this environment um and you know i i i've i've never really had the uh the best of the times outside of this mm -hmm. you know i i always seem to be thrown a curveball and Yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Um, so yeah, I yeah, I have all the time in the world, and I get bored, I get restless, and you know, I need something to do. And this is this has given me that like time time management, nothing. Uh, an average day, you know, I'll 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 work eighteen hours with a couple of breaks in between things to go and play a game. You know, at the moment it's jet ski race and often my cool down game my, my autism relief as uh, uh as a lot of people refer to the, kind of that one thing they do to cool down um uh he, he's normally test pilots i love to fly i love to i love that freedom of being in the air and having that three-dimensional movement uh which is again so that you can just go and get in a plane and learn to fly uh uh, by yourself <laughs> um and uh yeah we we go and we do this 
you know, we do this stuff and we, we get this cool down uh, and then the next thing is starting and we jump right back in and do it again. Mm. Uh, Wednesday is my busiest day. We have a new group that we're uh, starting to work with, which you yourself introduced me to. Um, South African based, which means completely oh. different time zone to uh, to what I'm currently working with. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that. And I have to be up at uh, eleven o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, and I, you know, I, so you know, I'll start at eleven uh, eleven a.m. on Wednesdays, and I will finish at uh, eight a.m. Thursday morning. And that that oh, is wow. my Wednesday. Uh, I am I am back to back on Wednesdays from uh uh from barber black sheep uh onto sonar uh and then on to uh uh kind of jumping between uh ttfc and goldie lounge uh i started ttfc when they first opened to help them get uh get people in the world and then once they've got some people coming in the dj's playing uh, i jump over to goldie lounge go to the open mic there uh, chat to people about things that are kind of coming up and that there, and then back to TTFC to kind of finish off the night, chill with uh, chill with the guys over there, and then uh, yeah, off to bed. So you know, it's uh, it it can be a lot, uh, and it can start to to weigh a lot. Um, I'd I, I'd already kind of I've I've mentioned to you, you know, off camera, I'm taking a break this next week. Uh, I put out a a notification, but. By the time this goes out, I'll have taken that break and I'll be uh, hitting the ground running. So yeah, guys, don't 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 ask me how my break went uh, because I'm telling you now, I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, let's yeah, send a glitch. No, I, send a glitch. Lots of messages fun. asking how his vacation went. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's one of the ways Protopot started. Uh, I I I was bored. I, I, so I when I uh, resigned from Corbell's team. Uh, I, we had a lot going on at Omni, and Ace didn't give me things to do quick enough, so I accidentally uh, started a marketing and networking company. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, you know, I've I was supposed to take a break during May, or when I say a break, I was supposed to take time off during May. Uh, it was going to be a solid break. I had to work on my own plans for Frality. Uh, uh, and you know we still had events coming up that we had to look at, talk about, uh, work out logistics on, um, work out the log logistics on our involvement, uh, but also assist the event teams because you know it, it, one of the I've I've worked with enough teams that I've got I've got a lot of first hand experience. I also have access to a lot of second hand and third hand experience. Um, See, there's there's a whole list. If if I don't know the answer, you can be damn sure I know the person who does, um, or I know the person who knows the person who does, mm. and that's uh, that's what I pride myself on. But it means there's there's no shortage of people going glitch, glitch. How do we do this? <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I ended up uh, I ended up getting taken on by Goldie's team as creative consultant, uh, which is an absolute dream. I I love being back on the creative side of things again uh, for a bit. Is uh, you know I'm working with them until uh, everything is just completely rolling and their their guys and especially their their world builder who is uh, you know he's done avatars and things. He's new to doing worlds. Red Panda is a, an absolute dream to work with, um, but also he's very good at kind of. Uh, he's good at asking for the advice, uh, which means, you know, we can bring in all these other people who really want to have a go at being involved. Uh, he's taken a lot of advice this time around from Llama Hat, mm. uh, who builds the worlds for Sonar. If you haven't been down to the worlds to Sonar, go and have a look at the work Llama puts in. He is, uh, in my opinion, one of the uh, one of the best when it comes to actual world building. Um. And he he prides himself on making it feel like you're actually there. Uh, you have to go and you have to do your settings. Uh, go on the settings board and turn on everything except the outline, um, and then hit Llama's personal settings on the post processing, and uh, and just look around that world as the light runs. Uh, the his use of the aerial system, his use of the post processing, uh, it, it is absolutely unparalleled mm. um 
and he's gonna yell at me for this <laughs> <laughs> um you know it's i get to bring these people in to the other things uh and i get to say look i don't know the answer to this one but llama will so come and talk to him and you know i'll get them at the same event i'll get i'll get red panda down at an event that i know llama will be at there's groups that use llama's worlds for their own events uh that are often later on so we'll try and meet up there um and more or less we'll just corner llama uh <laughs> poor guy i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah it'll be a case of oh yeah uh llama this is this is red panda he's doing the worlds for goldie lounge red panda this is llama he he built this place um talk to each other now please <laughs> you know, and, and after yeah, working with you, I'm noticing a bit of a trend that. that you do that with a lot of people. Oh, hey, person, meet other person. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh my god, no, it's uh, it's so much fun because like one of the things I very, very, very much pride myself on is getting to know the basics of someone. I don't want to go into the whole massive story. So I get to know the basics and then I kind of put together this 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 almost script for when I introduce them. Uh like like with you. With you it's it, it's literally just it it's straight to the point. This is this is Lion, uh, along with Raptor, he does the Metaverse DJ uh, DJ podcast. Uh, they're trying to get more people around. We want to get as many of our community on their show as possible. Uh, we want to help them boost the numbers a little bit and we want to we want to get them involved in a lot of the stuff that we're doing over on this end. Uh, and then I and then I turn to you and I introduce the person to you. Give uh, give you a brief. This is uh, this is uh, we'll go with Starport. Just off the top of my head, this is Starport. He does uh, immersive animation. He does the fireworks for Ferality and and things like that. He do, he does his own club area fifty five. Uh, absolutely brilliant, genius among geniuses. Talk to each other. Do it now. Talk to each other or else. <laughs> um, <and> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it once once i've done that that's it both both have kind of got their interests peaked it's like oh, okay okay yeah i know i know the i know a i know a foundation about this person hmm. um so everything else is just building on top of that foundation um and yeah i do i do that a, a, an awful lot i'm uh i'm I'm very much trying to turn that into an art form uh, because it's it, it's fun. I yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy uh, I enjoy kind of giving that, and I enjoy uh, learning those things about people, and you know, learning enough to know exactly which key points are the important ones mm. uh, that will that will make those people kind of go ah. It's like you know, some things I'll I'll omit with different people. Like if I introduce Starpot to someone else. Uh, I'll mention uh, other things that are more relating to that person. Um, you know, it's uh, it's trying to know enough to uh, to link the people, and people are always surprised at the things I know. Um, people like like this is the, is this goes back to the uh, observing. Hmm. Uh, people. People are always surprised that someone's paying attention. And I don't know why, for the life of me. Um, one of... Uh, one of my mates, Swag, uh, is an absolute gem. Mm. Uh, he is an absolute pillar of the community. And he thinks so little of himself that he thinks he is... So unbelievable! If I cry, he's gonna sob. Shit. Um, he, he <laughs> thinks he's so unimportant in our community. It, he is. He, he is. He is me for streamers. Like, I'm not, not even joking. Like he go. He knows all the biggest streamers. Uh, he chats to them. He can walk up to them and just go and talk to them. And uh, he moderates uh, for so many people. Uh, during uh, during Echo Sphere in uh, in uh, June or July, whichever one it was, uh, June I think it was the end of June or the middle of June, middle of June. Uh, you know, he was he was the uh, uh, Echo Sphere was streamed out on 
uh, on Wolfie Pollard's account. And so he was one of the mods for Echo Sphere. Um, he's one of my mods for when I'm streaming. Uh, he's mod for uh, yeah, the likes of uh, Electro Wolf. Um, he's he's all over the place, and then he's at all these events, and he spends all this time just sitting there. Uh, chatting to everyone and getting to know everyone and he knows all the performers and all the staff know him uh, yeah he's he's the absolute best of us and he sat there you know when i because i've never done the closing ceremonies that's not my style i don't tend to do that um but they put it before the dj so i didn't have an excuse because they were my djs i couldn't just leave um, <laughs> <laughs> so i was uh, i was kind of uh, i was kind of dropped into it but i decided like, if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna talk i'm gonna i'm gonna say thank you to people i'm gonna thank people that have uh, that have, i'm gonna thank goldie and the team for involving uh, involving my team uh, i'm going to thank the members of my team that that come down and and do the work i was i i thanked uh uh mountain man who you interviewed uh the other week uh he actually ran the stream through the uh through the jukeboxes uh, what he talked about on the stream has uh, has gone ahead we uh we're working with him on uh on marketing the uh revival of the independent kvrr radio uh, which yeah. is uh, which is absolutely marvelous, and things are things are going places with that. Is you know, uh, between the stuff that I've gone through with him, and between being on on this with you, uh, it has cemented that inspiration in him that he wants to be able to do this again. He wants to be able to do that radio, and you know, I thanked I thanked him, and then uh, yeah, I I pointed out there's someone very important that we have to thank, and that's Swag, mm. because. Uh, the world was almost not quest compatible. We were almost, uh, we were almost not a quest compatible event. Uh, things, deadlines rushed up. Uh, there were issues, and much to uh, much to Red Panda's annoyance, Goldie would not have it any other way. It had to be quest compatible uh, for swag. Wow. And I sat there, and I I, I sat there on stage, and I said, "Look, it's got to be said." We we've got to stand here. We've got to thank him because he thinks no one's watching, um, and we're all watching. We're oh my god! I'm never the one that cries. Oh, uh, well, I am, but I normally mute myself because I'm not normally talking. Um, <laughs> um, he he genuinely thinks no one's watching what he does, and he genuinely thinks that he is so unimportant that. He's just there, and it's not true. Every single person at that, at, at any of these events, every single person involved, whether it's right at the front, uh, you know, the the performers, the host, etc., uh, the back end, like myself, just kind of uh, looking after things and helping out, or the people that are so ingrained into the community that they are, a uh, you know they are the community mm. and they are they are the best examples of the community that we are working for and we are striving to help and look after and build and and all of that you know swag had gone through a lot of uh uh difficult times especially this month uh, this month has been very difficult for him um and yeah, I stood there and I just, I just, I said, look, someone who thinks he's overlooked uh, and thinks that he's unimportant, I, everybody in this room that has enjoyed this event needs to say thank you to him. And a lot of the time it's a case of that everywhere. You know, he's even when he's not a moderator, he's watching over the Twitch chats. He's looking after it. He's cracking jokes. Uh, if you if you were 
uh, any of Core Bell's events, they have the Twitch chat up on the uh, up on the screens often, and you constantly see Swagstone Dragon saying something stupid like uh, like like someone will go up on stage, and he, uh, uh, he'll go, oh yeah, it's so and so, and you know, or he'll be sit there, he'll sit there, one of the cam ops will just catch me on camera, he'll go, oh my god, it's glitched the popular photographer. Um, you know, he's he's taking the piss out of us. He's jumping on us, and he's 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 having fun, and he's absolutely loving every second of it. And that's what we're there for. We are there. You know, screw the rest of the attendees. We're there for swag. We're we're entertaining swag. Everyone else is is a byproduct. <laughs> is a byproduct. <laughs> swag is the best example of the community, and it's. People, he he doesn't realize that someone's taking notice, and a lot of them don't. Mm. Um, and I, yeah, people always get kind of surprised because a lot of the time, you know, it's my job to know some things. Uh, it's my job to spout off the 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 best of the best. It's you know, it, it, when I'm introducing someone to someone else, we, half the time is whether I like the person or not it's my job to be a little brown nosy as such i'm introducing these people i'm i'm piquing their interest mm. uh so you know i've got a list off the the the, the, the best bullet points um you know as i say yeah it's it's literally my job to as, as a networking agent they are yeah you know, i've got these people into the same room uh, the last step of my job is opening that communication and making them want to talk to each other. Mm. Um, but then, you know, you get the, the ones that you've gotten to know uh, and the people that are truly kind of important in this industry and the ones that I I absolutely adore being around. You know, you've got you, you've got Swag for, for one, uh, Goldie for bringing me back into the creative side of things, Corbell. Uh, you got quite a lot of performers. Uh, I'm really worried about dropping names because anyone that I don't name drop will uh, tell me off for not name dropping them. <laughs> um, just one one specific one. I'm not going to tell you what it was because uh, it's not a professional side thing. Mm. Uh, but one specific one that uh, that was very surprised that I knew something about them uh, was Psychotic Fox. Mm. Um, you know, Sammy's. Sammy's one of my favorite people to work with. Uh, deserves so much, uh, so much recognition mm. for what they do. Like, it's uh, <laughs> they've been hit with so many kind of problems. The stream always dies, or the internet's cutting out, or the power goes out. God knows how 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 Sammy manages it, but they they persevere and they keep pushing and they keep doing more and it's it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and yeah, I knew I I I made I made a a, a joke to alleviate a bit of tension when uh, when Sammy had dropped in and was uh, was feeling a little tense. And uh, I mean, it was, how how did you know? that's about me i'm like i i, I know things <laughs> so, I, I i get to know you i pay attention um yeah that's it's it is all that it's observing it's getting to know people and making sure people know that someone is someone's watching someone cares uh and you know that's that's how you get them to keep doing what they what they do best and what they this this amazing work that that they do hmm. so i have another question for you as well since we've heard so much about you how has what you're doing <laughs> with marketing with photography with corbell how has that changed your view of vr chat and uh, from when you first started popping. <laughs> Hello, we're here, here to interrupt the most interesting thing being said in our current video to ask you a favor, which is, would you mind joining us on any of the socials we have, such as Discord? We're hanging out all the time playing video games. You can catch us there very frequently. We have a tw we have the well, I I run Twitter for us, which is Lion Turtle Twenty One at on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. It'll always be Twitter, but. Either way, there's that. We have a we also have a Patreon, which we actually have a whole other show for our Patreon members, which which are 
Aliquim, and the newest addition to the bunch, Future Oracle. Niche and Forbidden Zero. Good friends of ours. Yeah, thank you very much, you guys, for joining. It means a whole lot that you're yes. there. And hope to see you there as well. We have a whole other show. There are some free ones uh, we have released as well for the audio for you to listen to and to see what it's like. It's like a whole other show as so a thank you. With that said, please enjoy the rest of your podcast on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> because of the way that I view VR in general, uh, it hasn't. It's just opened me up to a new side of it. Hmm. Um, I always saw VR as a... It, it, it needs virtual reality. Uh, you know, VR chat especially is no different. Is is no... Is, uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, VR chat especially is a prime example of that. You know, VR chat is a community of people. It is a place. We might as well be a country. Mm. Um, we are a huge di- biodiverse system of people, fairies, cryptids, uh, time spirits. You know, you name. Uh, you know, you, uh, stormtroopers. Uh, freaking people that go around the scps and you know all these different communities are a type of people or are a are a almost like species a species in an ecosystem and everything has to come together to work and vr chat has done that uh, vr chat has been my dream since since i was very little Right, since the first time I kind of discovered uh, 3D games, uh, it was actually uh, it was at a cupboard, and God, I wish I could have bought this, and I'm still trying to get my hands on one. Um, horrific name, though. So the, the Game Boy had a 3D game uh, variant uh, called, <laughs> called the Virtual Boy. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, it's... A great piece of kit. Very, very, very rare. Complete and utter flop. Um, and most of the existing ones are actually ones that were the shop uh, examples that have been converted into usable kit uh, because they they just did not sell well. Um, but yeah, this guy had it hooked up to a to an industrial battery or plugged into his car or something so people could have a look and it was like 200 quid or something at the uh at the car boot and a car boot sale is like a like a yard sale but you bring your car to a field and put things on a table and i keep forgetting that international audience doesn't have things that that, that we have in the uk uh but we have uh, yard yeah, sales it's, here in it's, the it's, it's like it's selling stuff yeah no well yeah that's what i mean it's like a yard sale except it's yeah you pack everything into your car you go to you go to a set location uh, and there's stores all along it um like as on a huge scale uh in in a lot of cases um and uh yeah we uh it, that was it 3d gaming was was interesting from that point on uh, i got the 3ds uh and was very let down about the lack of things that were actually in 3d on there um, I'm still like, if anybody at all who in the slightest bit works with Microsoft or Mojang, please, for the love of God, just give us the update of Minecraft 3DS. Just give us it in 3D, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, there may have to be um, some yeah, back, I, back know... a house for that, because I do know there's a group of people who do, they do have Mine- Minecraft VR. So it's literally that much harder to take yeah. similar assets than just 3DS. Yeah, there is uh, there is VR Minecraft, um, which is also very difficult to make work if you haven't got uh, specific uh, headsets and ways of do uh, and ways that you are connected to VR. Um, it was it was treated as a as a as a test as an example and was never really fully rolled out and it annoys the hell out of me. I just want to. I just, want to, I just want to build in 3D. I've played the VR uh, VR chat Minecraft, but it's it's not quite the same. It's not it's not there yet. 
Um, but yeah, you know, I did did all that, and that was it. I was uh, I I needed VR, and uh, you know, poor little un, you know, poor little neglected and mistreated me. Uh, wasn't allowed a a, a a a five grand gaming PC and a and a two and a half grand VR headset because my parents were so mean. <laughs> 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 um but no so yeah i i had to wait um <laughs> um if i i've i've always said if i could do things differently uh if i could go back in time knowing what i know now uh if, like if i could go back to when i was five six years old and but still know everything i know now uh there's two things i'd do hmm. uh i would have invest uh all of my savings in amazon <laughs> um that and bitcoin. i would i would <laughs> and bitcoin absolutely yes um and i would uh you know i still my biggest regret people kept saying oh it's just stick something in you know you never know what's gonna happen just you could stick you could stick 50 quid in. you never know if i'd stuck 50 quid and i'd be uh, like when people told me to uh, I would have about four Bitcoin right now, and I would be very, very, very. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be very rich because I'd have spent it on VR. But uh, you know, <laughs> um, I would. Have... <laughs> um, yeah, the other thing is uh, is I I would have jumped in VR chat from from day one ten years ago. Uh-huh. Um, establishing, you know, I know what is what is possible. Uh, and I, I can tell you point blank, a lot of people in this industry will, will will likely say the same thing. We know what is possible, but it was done wrong early on. So we're having to put up with how it how it has to be now. Um, and yeah, I would go back. I would bring together a team. I would establish the early clubs and the early events uh, right, right from the get go. And, and I would establish a way for them to be making money and be able to treat it as a livelihood because so many more people could be involved in this if it was the case of they didn't have to worry about money. I, a lot of money has gone into ProtoFox and what I do. Uh, most recently, uh, the uh, ProtoFox logo, actually, I can probably throw that because uh, by the time this goes out, it will have been released, uh, although this may change slightly. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of money has gone into ProtoFox. Oh. And fancy letters uh oh but yeah <laughs> and the lava lamp and stage light i'm obsessed with lava lamps but it's also it's got the colors of uh of all three of the uh project leads so myself uh is the dark is the dark kind of candy pink on the uh on the bubbles of wax uh our quest services quest tester uh, skinix is the green and purple um and uh the yellow is for uh pharaoh uh our graphics lead um and uh yeah the the yellow i i i could do getting in touch with uh with cosmic cosmo who did that cosmic is corbell's uh arts person um uh, absolutely amazing artist right from the get-go i was like i'm i'm getting the logo done by cosmic as soon as i know what the logo is cosmic is the one doing it um uh, for all of us in the industry that cosmic is the go to uh we don't we don't beat around the bush uh you need a logo doing that's the person you go to um and uh yeah so right from the get go it was it was straight to cosmic um and uh yeah we got that done we may we we want the uh we may be getting the light beam from the light just changed slightly you know when you when you're using it you actually throw it. it's why we haven't hard released it yet when you're using it you're just throwing it out for the fun of it uh you do start to finally notice the things that you thought oh i didn't notice this before but this could do with uh just doing slightly differently mm-hmm. um you know, otherwise, yeah, we've we've got a logo now, and we haven't had that, so that's the most recent thing that uh, that money has gone into. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, running these events and being part of this industry is not free. Uh, so yeah, that that would be my 
uh, my thing if I was if I could go back in time I would uh, I would fix that I would make it the norm that these people that we work with and these people that put so much time and effort into what we do uh, get what they get what we get get what they deserve <laughs> <laughs> that just uh, that, 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 that wasn't that wasn't quite what i was supposed to go for but it's uh, yeah get get the get the recognition they deserve and get the uh, get the reward for what they do mm. uh because a lot of the attendees don't realize just how much goes into this like uh, you know i'm like, doing what i do because i'm not just marketing uh you know i'm i'm full of vent assist anything that is needed of me uh either i can do it or i can find the person that can mm. um i help out in every single aspect of uh these events if i'm if i'm asked to it, it, it is it is my absolute passion it's what i live for um so i i come in and i'm i you know it, i see everything that happens from uh from the second it's kind of uh uh like the, the moment of inception right through the uh the gestation period through to production being set up uh through to the performers being chosen through to the teams being uh told this is this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to do it right through to the event itself uh standing there as a community face uh, talking to the community as they come into the event and talking to people that need a bit of help while the events teams uh you know fixing all the things that broke on day one um <laughs> hmm. uh, you know i i am i i get this unique uh unique honor of being there through all of this and getting to work with all of these absolutely immensely talented people that over the next uh, over the next five years we're going to put every single one of them in front of you. Um, but, uh, you know, they're they're all they are all so immensely talented in so many different ways uh, that we can't just uh, focus on one thing because I get bored. <laughs> it would be boring. I like, I like, I like being all over the place. I like working with people. I like getting to know people. Uh, I like getting to know everyone's stories and getting to know the the back end of everything. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's honestly just so much fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, there's a question I'm going to ask you because Raptor would not forgive me if I didn't ask. What is the weirdest thing you've seen in VR chat? <laughs> um oh god uh <sighs> i don't know i've seen some weird stuff i i, I think i'm gonna have to go with duckerth <laughs> duckerth <laughs> is uh is he he does Probably about as much as I do. He's involved in a lot of different places. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, he he doesn't do the same as what I do, but he he works with a lot of different groups. Uh, but Duckerth is uh, is the resident gremlin of every single community VR chat has to offer. Pretty much, um, he is. is uh... <laughs> he is to us. Uh, what uh, what Tupper is to VR chat, except Duckerth is crazy, um, and <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> he is cursed uh, to the extreme. But yeah, Duckerth is it uh, is one of the best people I know. But yeah, he is he is. Uh... <laughs> Fair yeah. Enough. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, before we start winding up, there's a few questions I would like to ask you. I'll give you three. First of the three is, what is some of your more favorite memories from the platform VR chat and your time here? Oh, oh God. Um, Getting to 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry again. Um, <laughs> Sorry. My absolute favorite of anything, you know, you know, I've got I've got the I've got the base favorites. I've got you know, getting to work the events, getting to be involved in things I never thought I'd be involved in. Yeah, you know, I got to I got to work with uh, with Cobell's team on VCAT uh, this year, which I never thought I'd actually get to be involved in that. Um, I got to work with the fairy hideout on the uh, on the uh, the New Year's countdown. I never thought I'd get to do something like that. But for me, one of the things that uh, and I, I've told you, I, I told you this story last night, and I've told I've told it to a few people. I, I cry every time. Um, one of the things that truly inspired me personally, uh. Yeah, you know, I didn't. It, it it wasn't an inspiration to join the events, but after joining the events, it became a massive inspiration in hindsight. Um, and that was sitting and watching the fireworks at Frality Silver. And yeah, you know, I'd been told about the fireworks back at the Luma Fest, and told, oh yeah, they're all hand done. They're all it's 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 someone just it's someone actually putting all this love and care into making these work um and it's entirely animated one by one every single aspect of those fireworks is curated and designed just like someone would do at an IOL fireworks display mm. you know and then i i sat there with one of my friends watching it and i said i, I would I would give anything to kind of meet the person that did this and made these because they sound like the they they are exactly the kind of person I'd love to meet. Mm. Uh, the love and care that's gone into what they've done it was the uh, for me it was you know Club Finn uh, at Silver was amazing uh, best Club Finn uh, in my opinion but uh, you know um, no. Nah. Um, I, never mind my opinion. I don't give a shit about anyone else's opinion. It was the best club fin, full stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, but the fireworks were what made that event unbelievably special. Mm. And they always are. You know, the fireworks have become a massive highlight for Ferality. Um, and a lot of people don't realize, you know, that you can you can go and see these. You can go and see fireworks by uh, by the same person all over the place um, because he just he loves what he does and he's so good at it. It's, it's Starport from Area Fifty Five that I mentioned before. Um, you know, he my favorite like memories are. You know, finally getting to meet him and watching this friendship grow and getting to work with him and see see his brain in action. See how he thinks about things. And he's so he's so, you know, nonchalant about it all. He just doesn't uh it, it just comes so naturally. Hmm. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this and then he does it. <laughs> and you know, he, he he makes these he makes he makes rides that are fully fully rideable animated rides in the club worlds, you know. Um and and then just seeing the fireworks displays and, and having kind of heard some of the uh the things that he's thought about as he's gone through and see you know, he we especially with, with Ferality he can't talk about it. Uh, but you know he's watching these videos that uh, that are giving him inspiration. We had no idea that it was inspiration for Ferality, mm. um, and for that display. Uh, you know he's watching all these videos uh, in in the time before Ferality. Just like you know, as he does, he's watching these videos for inspiration constantly, and getting to sit there next to him and watch these videos. And then a year on from Ferality Silver, uh, getting to sit next to him. And watch the uh, uh, watch the Ferality Umbra firework display. <laughs> uh, I think that will be my you know, my most precious memory for quite some time. That is uh, that that was that was something really special. Mm. Um, because it's like I it was. <laughs> 
it was like I come full circle. You know, I'd I'd gone from uh, I'd gone from nothing to someone that people treat as important and people look up to and people care about you know right you know i was i was sobbing the other day when uh when when mountain man's uh uh interview with you dropped uh, and mountain man straight up you know i've been working very closely with him on on the ideas and the back end ideas for uh for the independent kvrr and and, and running that again himself and and the ways that we can alleviate that stress on him with working and keep it running while he's at work and the ideas that we can where we can kind of keep the the the, the people that were involved in the fairy hideout radio uh involved because they want to be involved and they 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 love what they do um, i can't name drop because we've not we've not dropped who's uh who's involved and who's going to be running uh running on the host side of of it yet but uh <laughs> And who's going to be running a lot the back end side? We we haven't released any of that yet, so I can't name drop. I don't think it'll be released before this goes out. Um, but uh, you know, we've we, we've spoken to those people, or Mountain Man's spoken to those people, and and they they're jumping on the idea. And he sat there, and you know, I I thought I didn't think anything of it. I just I just help people. I just help people work through ideas. I give people ideas. Uh, I don't I I I don't really tend to ask for credit. I'm not asked about credit. Because for me, I'm doing the work for a community. The credit goes to that community that I am doing the work for. Uh, and Mountain Man sat there on your on, on your video and and just point blank said, uh, uh, "Oh yeah, one of my biggest mentors right now is Glitch." And I I, I sat there and I I just started crying because right now you know, he's 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 pretty much the same for me working through these ideas with him. And and the possibilities of KVRR and what we can do for the wider community. He he's he's thinking no one wants to be involved. And every single person I've mentioned it to, every single performer that I've mentioned it to, has jumped to the idea. Yeah, I want to be on there. Yeah, I'll give you some of our, our, our songs. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is absolutely brilliant. I want to be involved. Um, and you know he's he's got this this thing that no one else has really done the way that he's done it. Uh, and that's that's what I want to do. You know, I start I, I started running the Protofox frames. They update off GitHub uh, completely remotely. The worlds don't need to be updated. When I did that, I thought it was new. I thought people hadn't done it. Waterwolf do it. They have the poster network. I absolutely adore the poster network. I I, I want the Waterwolf poster frames out in, in my worlds alongside the Protofox ones. Uh, I want the Waterwolf ones ones alongside the Protofox ones in the event worlds uh, because I use the Waterwolf post, uh, post network now. Uh, you know, the, but... What Mountain Man is doing and the way he's doing it isn't done by anyone else. Mm. People people make a difference and uh Yeah, it's it's not easy to just choose one memory. Like Star getting to watch that with Star is definitely it, but like it, the effect that I have on people now I never expect, and I'm only really coming to terms with it now. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> well, you're doing some some amazing stuff here, and keep it up. Like, quite honestly, uh, running events and promoting, and tell you being a person who's tr trying to put, promote themselves, it ain't easy. So the fact that you're doing it is amazing. So keep it up, man. Welcome to your worst nightmare. We were watching and we know what scares you. This Halloween. The static isn't just noise. It's your darkest fear. To if you dare.
<laughs> oh, I love it. I, li- I I live for it. Just it just kind of comes naturally. I just didn't think that you know I'd gain the personal knowledge and traction myself from people like it was all supposed to just be oh yeah come to the event look at the event it's why you know it's it's why i was so surprised that you wanted me to come and talk to you on here um it's why i was you know all the way through this i'm 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 dropping names of, of people i work with i'm dropping names of the people that i uh i look up to and i i am involved with and and help out like I try and I try and work with everything around me. So like like I I I am uh, I'm Milo Fox's promotional guy. He's the one that makes my avatar base. Um, I am advertising uh, a, a, a thing that will bypass the radio menu, which uh, you know we'll just wait for an update on that, and then that's going to be uh, getting full mass advertised starting uh, starting probably next week when I get back from my break. Uh, you know, I'm gonna. I've got a whole bunch of performers lined up that are, that are happy to use it. I've got. Uh, I've got. I'm gonna ask Corbell if we can run it on the posters that come up in World. Run the poster. You know, it's only now that I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that these these people value what I'm putting in. You know, these these performers are are turning around. If if I stand by it, if I think it's worth using and talking about they want to make use of it they want to do that and i'm sitting here like oh, okay oh, oh god okay yeah yeah i didn't expect you to do that much but uh absolutely yes please i would very much appreciate it um and it still it still gets me hmm. but uh yeah i i don't i don't know i never i never expected that side of things i never i never really wanted that side of things uh I've, you know, I'll I'll do this with or without that. Obviously, actually, it it, it very much helps. Uh, you know, it helps the job. It helps with the job. But having people know who you are and being able to just go and talk to the performers, it certainly helps with the job. Uh, but uh, you know, the it was never a goal and it still isn't like you know i could be deleted by every single person on my friends listening you know, i've got 800 something I, I i i on this account i accept every invite uh every request every uh friend request uh so uh because it makes it, it means that i can be a join beacon at events i can go on blue and be like you can join off me glitch the fox um and you know that it helps get people into the event so you know, I I could be deleted by all of those people. I would I would still do this uh, every every second that I that I'm able to. Mm. This is uh, the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, second the second question of the the final question is, where did your name glitch the fox come from, and why do you continue to use it? <laughs> um. I thought I was being original, <laughs> oh. um, and I continue. You, oh God, I don't think I can. I don't think I can sing that whole thing on here. But uh, yeah, glitch, glitch the bitch. Something happened to him on a football pitch, and now he's been left for dead in a ditch. Um, was uh, was my? I started singing when I was drunk. <laughs> ah. um, um, there's something, there's something happening, so, you know, yeah. um, I, yeah, I, I just, I just really, really randomly started singing that when I was, when I was really drunk. This was long before my VR chat days. Um, and it was just so funny. Um, that even with, I've got secondary sodas, I've got other, other sodas. I'm not gonna, I, I, I used to name drop them. Uh, one of, uh, one of them, uh, I, 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 I I'm certainly not going to name drop because it is now the name on my alt account, which I'm using when I need time away. Um, but that particular that particular sona is uh, is very much based on like my sona is uh, based on aspects of myself. The one for my alt account uh, is based on my uh, uh, my journey through depression um, and things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, glitch glitch isn't glitch is. Uh, Glitch is my representation of myself to the point where, uh, you know, this sonar is glitch, 
but my human avatar and uh, the one that, I, that my KitKat that I use just to be optimized until we get the 2.0 update of this, uh, hopefully very soon. Um, those I d they don't have their own names. They are still me. They they are Glitch. Um, Glitch is the amalgamation of all the best parts of myself and all the things that I want to be, uh, and that I wish I could be IRL. He's uh, he's cute, skinny, dancey. He's got nice hair. He's got. Fox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he can wear a crop top without people going, you shouldn't be wearing that, you're too fat. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm i able to... I'm able to... He's got colour-changing eyes, for God's sake. Uh, I'm able to have all these aspects that, that I couldn't have in the avatars in VR, which is why both this one and my human one especially, they are they are glitch mm. uh, together. They are They are me. They are... The, the the best parts of myself mm. um yeah that's what that's what glitch became uh, uh, and yeah i i couldn't possibly change the name because uh if i did no one would know who i was and everyone would get confused <laughs> <laughs> fair well you kind of sort of answered the last one which is why do you use the or why do you use the avatar you're in so i'll ask the second part why do you continue <laughs> to use the avatar you're in uh, because it's the best freaking avatar ever made for VR chat, and nobody can prove me wrong. Well, actually, uh, at the moment, until we get the two point order, I suppose a few people can. Um, but I'm not going. Don't tell Milo I said that. Cut, cut that bit. Cut, that, that, that did. I didn't say that. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, yeah, no. This uh, this avatar is uh, the second. Like the original iteration of the Kit Fox is is cursed compared to this one. Um, but even then, you know, I, I, t I saw this avatar and I was like, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I want. Um, that's how I want to be perceived. That's how I want to be known. And I didn't even buy it straight up. I, I was, I was still using the Nardo at the time. Um, I ran with the Nardo for quite a long time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, with the, then, you know, meeting Corbell. And him using the Kit Fox, you know, he absolutely, completely, utterly, profusely recommended it. Um, you know, I, I've used a lot of avatars. I've used the Nardo. I've used uh, uh, a lot of public Rexes in the past. Um, uh, the NKD Protogen is a personal favorite. If you've if you've been to any of uh, Corbell's events, Goldie Lounge events, uh, if you've joined us down at Omni, I should have. I, I, I'm going to get shouted out for not having really mentioned Omni. Omni is the place I that first gave me a chance uh, i also gave them a few hundred photos when they were expecting like seven so uh yeah they <laughs> um, i'm not the i'm the ops manager for for omni and it is my absolute favorite place in the world uh but you know we've been to uh some of these special events at omni uh so my birthday we released the new photogens which are on the nkd protogen um so the photogen is the photography equipment avatar that i designed and uh, and set up to be an optimized avatar it's got all the stuff that the photographers already have uh but as an avatar that is optimized they can all use it to become a general uh, this is a recognizable avatar if you see a photogen you know that it is a photographer working the event you can get some photos just go and stand in front of it and pull a pose um <laughs> yeah, you know, they've they've got this whole storyline of their own. Uh, with uh, we we did a video for the release of the uh, of the updated P fives, which we uh, completely redid the texture and the audio link system on them so that they uh, worked better for events rather than dark clubs. Um, yeah, you know, we we because of all the work Corbell put into uh, helping us develop the Protogen project. And uh, and then you know as I say using them at all his events they're they're at every single one of his events. Uh, we uh, we even gave him one of his own livery. Uh, Waterwolf wants a uh, a desktop, uh, a fully desktop usable with the VRC lens uh, for streaming Photogen. Uh, we're going to be uh, working with the Tailbase gang. We've got the uh, system that runs the Tailbase tech technology for the dancing not the, the tatum technology for the dancing yeah. tatums uh thomas tailbase is the uh tailbase tatum 
Uh, but any Warthorpe events, you'll see the Dancing Tatums. Yeah, we've we've got the tech for that. Uh, it's just it's on a very old system, and I have no idea how to transfer it. Uh, so I need uh, I need someone to do that for us. I've got to find someone that can uh, reanimate that entire animation for the NKD protogen. But yeah, I, you know, I've used I, I used the avatar. I've got Sones on all of that. Mm. Um, but it was never me. You know, and it's, it's the same with non-fairy avatars. Like, my first human one, and if you go to Project Community and find the Protofox booth, you've got my Kit Fox and another one next to it. And that was the one I was using, but it was never right. It was never me. Mm. Uh, you know, I've got, I've got the new one now. I've got the one that, that is right, that is me. Um, I should probably move the camera back and I'll change into it because I should probably show, show like, the other side of me. Um, but yeah, so like you know, it's it, it's a very big work in progress. It's going to have a lot of fun stuff done. Uh, everything's being retextured. Um, but yeah, if I'm not working a primarily furry event, um, if I'm out and about, you may see me like this with the with the flannel on. If you see me, uh, if you see me like this, I am I, I I'm more than likely working an event. I'll often have the event name on my back. Um. But yeah, so like it, the other one just wasn't me, and then I found I found it was actually I found this head and body, and then we found an avatar that used them, um, and it was done really nicely to the point where we could uh, uh, do this work with it. I'm going to change out of it because I can't turn the expressions off, and it annoys the hell out of me when uh, when I keep getting random faces. Uh, there's a lot of work needs to go into that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, we uh, it's always finding that one that's you. Uh, and yeah, with uh, with Milo's avatar here, I I found that I was like, that's that that's it, that's perfect. Uh, you know, getting to work with Milo now and work very closely with Milo, uh, I built the uh, the hangout world for the uh, uh, the Kit meetups for the Kit Fox, Kit uh, Derg, and Kit Cat. Uh, we have the Kit Fox 2.0, which is going to massively optimize it. Uh, we'll actually be able to be medium. Ah, uh, finally. Um, <laughs> um, you know, we got the kit deer coming up, so that's going miles. That's a lot of work to get done, but that's, you know, I'm getting to be involved in the community and I'm getting to uh, work with the entire community around this avatar um, right from this get go, right from it uh, being a very young community, very limited, not a lot of people uh, using it as much as like the Rex and the Nardo and, uh, and the Nova and things like that. Um, and I'm getting to I'm getting to kind of jump out and and be involved in that and uh, uh, go for, go from there. And yeah, no, this is yeah, I I love it. I love being involved. I love being able to work with the people, and I love the avatar. So yeah, no, I I will never. Uh, this is this is my avatar. This is this is this is glitch. This will always be glitch. Mm. Um, Wow. Uh, just because it's i'm cute <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cute and fluffy well glitch yeah i love it <laughs> thank you so very much for giving us your time and allowing us to get to know and learn about you from where you started all the groups and the memories you have here so thank you it's appreciated no absolutely thank you for having me honestly and thank you thank you for taking t you know taking notice like as i said people people don't think other people are taking notice and i'm i'm not uh i i'm i'm not immune to that um you know getting someone taking notice saying i i i've heard uh, i've heard about you know i've heard a bit about what you do uh people have mentioned you uh tell us a bit more and and we'd love to kind of get you involved and having someone do that you know i get that every now and then but on the level where it usually it's we want to make use of what you do for us not we want you to come and talk about what you do mm. um yeah thank you honestly for no problem. You know, having having me be able to come in and talk about it all no hey, problem <laughs> it's much appreciated i enjoy getting all the vr chat lore from everywhere in all quarters to be honest with you <laughs> it's one of the things i have found i grow most curious about with world hopping because you never you know this is also the question for you guys as well kind of sort of so i'm talking both glitch here and you the audience have you ever been in a vr chat world and saw pictures or you saw little mementos or easter eggs for friend groups and wonder what the fuck is going on there 
Well, doing this, oh, you yeah. get to learn about a lot of those things. The memories, the pictures, the things that stuck, what means things to people or groups, and I enjoy it. It's yeah. It helps kind of flesh I, more of the I, platform I get people out. Asking me, <laughs> I get people asking me on the photos that I put up in my world. I, I know exactly that that feeling. You know, I, I know the feeling of uh, of having to explain it and people not knowing and wanting to want to kind of know what's happening and, and the story behind things. Uh, yeah, I I love it. I, I, I live for stories. I live for every single person has a story to tell. Um, mm, agreed. As I say, we're gonna we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna send you guys them all. So yeah, everyone everyone watching, uh, honestly, you, you keep watching, um, because yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot of people, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get quite a few, uh, both big names and small names, uh, <laughs> up here with these guys so yeah keep an eye out it's gonna be awesome hey yo <laughs> well, i love it since we already had the uh audience interaction i will also kind of do a little bit of a plug as well if you're new from the communities that glitch here has or even new to this this channel in general you don't have to wait to find new new people to learn about we got hundreds now ah that's a statement that kind of Makes me feel a little old because we did one. <laughs> there are a lot of pe people in yeah, communities for you to I learn did. about here. Like, you'll be busy for a very long time learning about them. So, <laughs> we have playlists now in the I main think YouTube. We've, we've got. For, uh, just for a go couple take of a look. months. Oh, we have some people trying <laughs> we, to binge watch we've and got catch you set up. for a couple of months, haven't we? Oh, like even with them, no, we have people trying to catch up. Like, yeah, there's one person. There's one person I know who's trying, and that's his name is Future Oracle, and you can see some of his comments in the videos because he'll watch while he's working, and he'll just binge listen to all because he's got time to listen while he works. But oh, yeah. I'm impressed with people who who want to watch that I think much. Mountain Man's doing the same thing. Oh really? I think Mountain Man's doing the same thing. He's uh, he's playing them while he's working. Um, like the big thing about him is he he doesn't. Uh, he hasn't really done uh, the community side. He's run the jukeboxes, but didn't think. He, like he said, he said this to you. Uh, he's run the jukeboxes, but he didn't really get involved in the outer community until he started uh, joining me at events. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> he wants to get to know who everyone is now because I keep introducing him to people, and now a whole lot of people know who he is that didn't know before. Uh, so now he wants to get to know the the people around VR chat. So yeah, he's uh, he's watching uh, he's watching and listening while he's working because uh, he drives and he has a lot of free time when he's when he's driving these long distance uh, long distance jobs. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's brilliant. But it is about to get a whole lot longer. Uh, as I say, I think we've got you uh, we've got you covered for a few months at the moment. Uh, Easy. <laughs> and I currently have a list of. I think there's about 40 people still on my list to introduce you to. Um, oh, and we'll be busy then I have the, the extra <laughs> people that I'm coming across myself. Oh. Uh, as soon as that list is, as soon as I've introduced you to everyone on that list, uh, I've got uh, I've got a I've got a secondary list in my head as well, and uh, and a list of people to try and get other people to introduce you to, uh, because you know I have contacts who have contacts, so I'm making use of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna well, it's much we're gonna Mitch. we're gonna keep you covered. <laughs> it's, it's very much appreciated. And with the final closing, since we interact with on interact with you again, I'm gonna give you a challenge and some homework this time. No questions. Homework. Yeah. So with that said, I want you to go find a new community. Metaverse Teach is a great resource. Or go find another one. Go experience one of their events. It could be role play. It could be a musician. It could be Corbell's events if you've never been. Any of them. Then come back, either this video or the Discord, and then tell us about your first experience. We'd love to hear about it. And I would tell Raptor to do the thing, but he's here to do the thing. So we'll, we'll guess I have to do it. But that's it. <laughs> no matter who you are in life there's always someone who pays attention and cares about what you're doing you may not think so but there is sometimes it takes quite a lot for you to learn that lesson yourself and how i'm still learning it myself but you matter this world's a beautiful place give it a chance see you in the metaverse folks <laughs>